Come on in and join the Periscope. Uh-oh, it's a lot of sun in here. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Miss T. Good morning. Join in, join in. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I'm trying to get this camera together. Top of the morning. Is everybody's is everybody's morning going well? See some smiles on here. Y'all give me some smiles. Give me some hearts. Let me know y'all alive and that y'all are doing well. All right. Great, great. So what I wanted to do on, the, on this scope is really just uh, show you all how to make something very simple. We've all probably tried it at home, and that's uh, making scrambled eggs. So I'm going to show you all the perfect scrambled egg. Surprisingly, I know a lot of people can write really screw this up, you know, and the one thing I hate the most are those scrambled eggs that are like brown and burnt and not quite working and, you know, not quite looking very good. So I'm going to show you all how to make it very easy, very simple with some simple ingredients. Um, and the cool thing about it is you can kind of play with other things if uh, for me today, I'm going to be working with a little bit of cheddar cheese. I'm going to be working with some uh, some herbs. But if you want something uh, a little bit more hearty, you know, you can add different types of meat to it, uh, different types of cheeses, vegetables. Great way to get your vegetables in in the morning, you all, is by putting them in your eggs uh, right before you go off to work. Very simple. Uh, good deal. I made breakfast tacos with leftover collard greens this week. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. I'm going to take that from you. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead on and get started. I'm going to bring this down. Uh, hopefully you all can see all of my... Oh, gosh. That's not going to work. Okay. Maybe it is. Okay. I'm going to bring this closer. So hopefully you all can see all of the ingredients. I'm using these brown eggs, right? So a lot of people, um, a lot of people want to know what's the difference between a white egg and a brown egg. There is no difference in taste. There is no difference in nutritional value. The only difference is the color. Uh, the white eggs that you get in the grocery store typically come from uh, chicken, white chickens with white earlobes. Brown usually come from chickens that are reddish in hue and also have uh, reddish earlobes. There is a difference in cost, so typically brown um, brown eggs cost a little bit more than your traditional white eggs. I'm just working with these because I like brown. <laughs> so, very simple. What I like doing is I like cracking my eggs. And hopefully you all can see. Very simple. Now, here's a little trick of mine. I like, I like my uh, scrambled eggs to have like this beautiful kind of rich, uh, yellowish, orangish hue to it as well. It's just something about it that just makes it look super sexy to me. So what I'm going to do, and uh, this is a trick for you all, is you can get rid of the egg white and just use the egg yolk as well for your scrambled eggs. So you see that yolk, you can just use a little bit of that yolk and add it to your scrambled eggs. And then also save the egg whites because you can use that for other purposes as well. But that just gives you a richer color. Uh, if you're working with a really, really good quality egg, it gives you a, a really nice flavor and richness to the eggs. So in beating them, I just like to, you know, poke a little holes in there and scramble your eggs. And you just want to make sure that you you know you're getting the air in those eggs and that they're nicely beaten. Now, a lot of people use uh, may use heavy cream or milk uh, in their eggs just to give it some richness, uh, but you can also use water. And again, that's cutting out a lot of the calories to it. So use a little bit of your water, and that just kind of breaks down, softens those eggs. 
gives you a really nice kind of fluffy effect. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the water. And then, you all know, I t traditionally don't use a lot of salt, if any, in my cooking because a lot of the foods that we consume, a lot of the foods that we cook with already have natural salt in them, right? So, but for eggs, I like to add just a little bit of sea salt. And I'm going to show you all what a little bit is because you all may overdo it. But just a little pinch of sea salt right in my eggs. And I just scramble that up. So now that my eggs are good, again, here are just some of the vegetables you can use uh, when you're working with your scrambled eggs. You can use peppers. I love a great jalapeno for spiciness, especially in the morning time. It just gives me a nice kind of kick. Uh, it gets my day started. It's just like adding cayenne to some of your uh, uh, smoothies and things in the morning time, right? Uh, also, this is really cool. This is a shallot, you know, or shallot. So it's kind of a, a hybrid between garlic and a little bit of that red onion flavor, right? So also works really nice with eggs. And then you can also go with your herbs. So right here, I've got some parsley that I'm going to be using today. Also, you can work with uh, fresh chives, which goes really, really, really great with eggs. And then, of course, a little bit of the cheddar cheese just to put on top. You don't have to use the cheddar. You can use a goat cheese. You can use no cheese at all. It just totally depends on what you like. All right? Totally depends on what you like. So let's go over to the stove and get things going. I'm going to position this right here. So as you can see here, I'm using a little bit of butter uh, for my skillet. I'm using a non-stick skillet, of course. Um, if you don't want to go with butter, you can always use a little bit of olive oil. Uh, but this is an organic, all-natural, pure butter uh, that I'm using. Uh, you want to use the finest ingredients. You want to use really, really good quality ingredients. So we're going to add uh, a pat of our butter to our skillet. And it's something about that butter that adds a nice richness to uh, the eggs as well. And we want to make sure that we get that, uh, that, that oil permeated throughout the entire bottom of that nonstick skillet. That way your eggs aren't sticking. Now, I'm going to bring this up here. So it, here's the deal. With eggs... You want to make sure that with the eggs, you want to make sure that you're cooking them kind of low and slow. Start them off on a, on a higher temperature, and then you can bring down the temperature and then cook them slow. Uh, don't, don't try to go speedy Gonzalez with your eggs because that's when they get burned and they don't really come out the way that you desire for them to come out. All right? Uh, making the perfect egg is all about taking time. It really is, and, and kind of bringing it all together. But that's if you like the perfect egg, and I like the perfect egg, I'm telling you all. So, uh, so remember, start off on a higher temperature to melt whatever oil you're using, if it's olive oil, grapeseed oil, butter. Um, and then get your eggs in there, which I'm going to show you. We're going to put our eggs in there. They're going to kind of curdle a little bit, and we're going to start pulling them away. Uh, that way that they're cooking, and then we're going to bring that heat down. We're going to bring it down to like a, a medium low temperature and really let those eggs kind of cook. Okay, slowly. That's the key. That's the goal. That's the trick, you all. I'm telling you. Low and slow. All right. So I'm going to bring this down here. And again, this is what you have. This is. And so now your 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 pan should be hot right now. So you're gonna add in your your eggs right to that pan. 
And I like to get all of it, you know? Don't let any any of it just kind of stay behind. You want every last bit of that. All right. So, you know, you can use a wooden spoon. You can use an offset spatula, one of the plastic spatulas if you want to, uh, whatever you have access to. But let me show you. But I'm going to show you all what this looks like. So now what you're doing is you're pulling those eggs away from the sides. They're coagulating. And coagulating mean, means that they're kind of, in, in a sense, curdling a little bit, right? So, And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that effect, right? So you slowly just kind of maneuver those eggs around. And remember, we brought the temperature down on the eggs because we don't want them to overcook. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for like the perfect egg, you know? You don't want them burnt. You don't want them to, you know, you don't want those really small kind of chunks of eggs that looks like dog food. At a, you don't want that. Now, what you do want is you want to make sure that you're getting all of that, all of the wetness or that liquid, the yolk, essentially. You're looking to get that kind of hardened. Okay? You want that to be cooked. So if everybody can see what that looks like. Okay, now here's my trick, okay? I'm going to cut that temperature off. And this is what I have here. You see how beautiful that egg is? So here's, the, here's my trick, right? At this point, what I like to do... At this point, what I like to do is I like to top it all off with a little bit of cheese. I put it in the, uh, uh, the oven on a low temperature, and then I let it just continue to cook, get that cheese melted on top, and then get whatever extra uh, yolk that is still kind of liquefied. Uh, I want to kind of get that a little hardened, okay? And I'm telling you, you've got the perfect egg, so I'm going to show you all. The perfect scrambled egg. All right, let me turn this around. All right. So here, we put just a little bit of that cheddar cheese. And remember, a little bit goes a long way. Don't overdo it, you know? There we go. And then, I put that into our oven. So if you can see kind of what that looks like. I don't know if you all can see it. But I kind of get that in the oven. What's the trick to breakfast pizza with eggs on it? So with the, let me turn this around. With the breakfast pizza, that's a good question. With the breakfast pizza, you want to... You, I mean, you can use an already made crust or you can make your own crust. Um, but the trick is you want to really cook your eggs like that. Now, don't overcook your eggs. That's the thing. You kind of want to uh, have them to a point where you can kind of lay them on the pizza because when you get them in the oven and you put the cheese on there, they'll continue to cook. So what we call is kind of like par cooking a little bit. That's what you want to do uh, if you're going to be putting it uh, into the oven for a long period of time. Now, what I just did here is really I just wanted to melt the cheese. So I'm not cooking the eggs for a long period of time. I'm going to pull that out of the oven pretty quickly. Okay. Now, if you're kind of doing a broiling, if you're broiling your pizza a little bit, then again, watch out whatever you're putting on top of it because you don't want to burn the eggs. That's like the worst thing in the world. Ugh. Um... Uh, but another thing that you can do for breakfast pizza as well is you can pre-cook your crust or pre-cook all of the ingredients already on the pizza and then add your eggs on last. And then you can top your eggs off with your herbs and things like that.
Okay, so that's another trick. That way it goes straight from the stovetop on top of the pizza and then you serve it. Uh, oh yeah, the, the frittatas are great. That's another great uh, option that you can use um, or do with, uh, with eggs is a frittata. Very similar like a quiche. Um, a quiche is typically using uh, like a puff pastry or some type of uh, pie crust. And then your eggs and your cream and all of that are kind of brought together. And it's like a custardy um, pie. It's so rich. It's so decadent. It's so good. My grandmother used to make it on Christmas. Every Christmas, my grandmother used to make her famous American uh, quiche. She didn't do a frittata. She did a quiche. I used to go in, people. Oh, she used to make me like a whole quiche to myself. All right, let me get these eggs because I'm uh, going down memory lane. I'm reminiscing about that quiche. <laughs> All right. So this is what, uh-oh, can you all see? So this is what you have. You have these beautiful eggs, and you have that cheese that's just kind of been melted on top. And then what we do is we top that off with some fresh herbs. Now, I'm going to show you all what the finished product looks like because you know I kind of have a thing about letting y'all go and not seeing what the finished product looks like but I'm gonna plate it and you all bear with me because I want you all to see exactly what this looks like so let me show you all just kind of how I how I take it off out of the pan and put it on your plate So this is what you have here, right? Those eggs are, I mean, look, just look how beautiful those are. The color is amazing. And it just should come out just so easily. Just like that. You all see that? And then, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> now that's really bad when your phone falls in your perfect eggs. They're not perfect no more. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, did I lose anybody? I hope not. Um, I'm just cleaning off my phone a little bit. Uh oh. Am I still going? I have absolutely no idea. No, I. Okay, I'm still going. You all let me know, am I am I still broadcasting this? Am I still, yes you are, okay. <laughs> you know, I will say something real quick. All right, that's crazy, like I swear, like my phone fell in my perfect eggs. <laughs> Look, I need a camera guy. Somebody on Periscope, come help me film these cooking videos. <laughs> all right. So this is what they look like, you all. And I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add my um my fresh herbs to it. You all give me a minute. Ask your questions. That would be great right now. Post your questions on Periscope. I'm gonna put the recipe on my website. And I'm gonna turn this around. So you all can see visually just kind of what that looks like. You know, just super simple, very simple. And that's what it is. And then you've got these perfect eggs, I'm telling you all. It is off the chart, amazing. Just don't drop your phone in your eggs when you're doing it. That's like major no. <laughs> and then you taste them. Cheers. Oh, yeah. So what I would add to that, just, it's a little bit of black pepper. Because I like my food spicy. So I would add in the, um, if I had some, well, I do have some jalapeno, but I would have added a little bit of jalapeno 
Um, also, my Chef Blend hot sauce. Go get it. It works perfect with eggs. You can order that on my website at www.judsontodallen.com. Perfect in the morning. Perfect with anything. It's all purpose. But it is, it's is—it's the bomb on eggs, I'm telling you. Um, so that's simple. You know, again, this is a way to show you all how to make the perfect uh, scrambled eggs at home. You all can do it. Very simple. Very few ingredients. Uh, cut out some of the calories. I'm going to run those tips by you one more time. Instead of using your heavy cream or uh, instead of using half and half, you can go with using just water. All right. So you can use water to really kind of break down those eggs, get them really tender, scramble them up, get them aerated, and then it just leaves this perfect, fluffy, beautiful, yellowish, I mean, actually, they are yellow, <laughs> right? Um, colored scrambled eggs, and they're just rich and decadent, and that's what you're looking for. Um, also, if you don't want to use butter, go with olive oil, grapeseed oil, okay? If you're using butter, use a very high-quality butter. Okay, and a little bit goes a long way. All right, and then keep this in mind that when in the morning time, one of our uh, Periscope followers said that they they did a, a a breakfast burrito with collard greens. Adding your vegetables in the morning time, right? So sometimes we don't get all of our vegetables in throughout the day. Sometimes it's a great way instead of just kind of going for like the kale smoothie and all that other stuff that's that's great sometimes but frankly let's be honest we get kind of sick of it if we're drinking it every day for breakfast right but this is a great way to kind of put it into something again eggs have lots of protein they have dispelled the myth that you cannot eat the whole egg you all eat the whole egg you know cholesterol is not i mean this is a good form of cholesterol for the body you all now, don't overdo it and have eggs like every single day and eat like five, six eggs a day. Yeah, that's going overboard. But if you're going to eat an egg, consume the entire egg. Most of the nutrients are in the yolk of the egg. All right. So when you're just eating the egg whites, you're not getting any real nutritional value. OK, so keep that in mind. Um, what else? And most importantly, enjoy, 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 enjoy. Um, I hope you all have had a great time with me making the perfect scrambled eggs. I'll answer any questions you all have right now. As early as you all can see, I'm sitting here, uh, going to get this protein, eat these eggs, and then go to the gym and get my workout on because that is important. And then I'm getting right into my work. Um, so any questions for me, any questions for me regarding eggs, regarding scrambled eggs, fried eggs, over easy eggs? All right, let's do it. Give me the questions. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to jump off of here. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get my day started. I want you all to have a beautiful and blessed Tuesday morning. Tuesday, entire day, all right, and uh, just make sure that you enjoy a wonderful meal that is very important, and try cooking for yourself, all right, stay out of the, stay out of the fast food lines and all these other different things, and I want you all to experience just how fun cooking for yourself really can be, so I want you all, like many, to fall back in love with the kitchen, fall back in love with the kitchen and by incorporating some of these easy tips and some of these easy easy things that we can do in the morning time uh, for lunch that I'll be doing some periscopes for lunch and just showing you some really really simple recipes that you can do that are quick that are, um, that are flavorful that are really good and uh, you know you've done it at home you know what you're eating so that's the purpose we're all about health we're all about getting healthy and uh that's the name of the game baby all right i love you all so much and until next time i will see you